Take it in, not quite there, rebound pulled down by the Bulldogs. Everybody purple and gold in this place tonight. Let's get outside. Get to the starters. Dalen Webb, of course. Isaiah Trejo, Kensington Colston, Dylan Kuro, and Gennaro Reyes for the Pirates. Edelman. Nice work inside. That is up and good. And if you look at Everman, you know, Granberry doesn't have a lot of size, but they have a lot of athleticism. They can shoot the ball, run, play defense. Everman's kind of stacked up the same way. They don't have a 6'5", 6'6", guy in the no, middle. They don't. So I think it's going to be a very athletic game both ways. And uh, I would think more of a high-intensity defensive battle, too. I'm kind of saying the same thing, Ryan. In the corner goes to Trey Ellen. Go baseline, ready to throw it up. No good. Rebound, Trudeau! Right. Guy does it, man. He is a rebounding freak, averaging double figures in rebounds and points this year. Well, he's built like a breath ball down there. I don't think anybody can outlift him in the way we're going to look at him. He's I don't think so. I think we might have a... Is that a... An elbow or a, or a blocking foul. Well, if you remember the other day for the uh, the girls' game versus Dead Ryan, it was a very uh, loose officiated game. With a good time. They didn't call on anything, so I mean, we're gonna play is how tight the game's gonna be called. We're gonna have a quick foul called on Trejo. Looked like he might have gotten a little bit of ball on that, but everyone going to the line. Take a seat. First one up is no good. Yeah, we've uh, we played some common opponents this year. Both of us beat Azo pretty bad twice. So I think a lot of things could be uh, zero. Unfortunately, you're a Hornets fan. Rebound taken by Colson. 
you know, and that's been a weird situation up there in Hazel. Block. Ball bringing it out. Moore with the ball. I like the game plan, though, for the Pirates offensively as they're attacking the rim. Got him on the foul. Isaiah got him rolling back, baby. All right. And that's what you got to do. If Edmund's going to continue to drive towards the basket, you have to be able to step in front and take that charge. And I think that's going to be the first of many tonight. 2-2. Two -two. We got a couple of minutes gone here in this opening quarter here. Granberry, I, and Brian, I don't remember the last time that we've uh, been able to raise a golden ball for the guys. It's two years in a row in the playoffs with this group. Wow, they're calling it tight. Not like the other night. No, but that's going to be something we'll have to adjust on. It's still early, 2-2, two, two, two minutes into the game. But uh, the successful teams are the ones that adapt to the officiating. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yep. Ball on down Vasquez with it. Drive inside. You know, that's the thing about KT is not, you know, he's averaging 15, 16 a game, but he can also pick the boards really good. No good on the three. Ball tip up. Kudo. Isaiah again. No. Good job of the Pirates getting back defensively on a, on a missed three-pointer. Everyone was looking to run and get out to a four-point lead. Pirates got back early. 4-2. 440 left in the opening quarter. Jumper put up. Booth puts the shot up. Rebound again is Colston. Colston puts the ball on down to Kudo. Dillon. Been spinning his way in. Look at this. Got hammered. And nothing called on that one. Quickly down comes Moore. My goodness. That's a strange call and a strange non-call. That's the third foul on the Pirates here in the first half of the first quarter. I think that's more than the Lady Pirates had in a single quarter. Oh, yeah. All game outside of the fourth quarter where we had to put them at the line. Good grief, yes, man. Everman, McBride. Dishes the ball over to Moore now. Here comes Booth again. Got a little push off. Second offensive foul on Everman here in this opening few minutes. We'll see if the Pirates can get in a rhythm offensively. Continue to attack the basket. See if he can get Everman in foul trouble. Gennaro outside it goes. Now it's Kudo. Kudo. Ball kick way over the other side. It'll go to Reyes again. Here comes KT down the line. The reverse, not there. And a rebound pulled down by Everman again. Booth outside directing traffic. 4-2 in this opening quarter. Nothing there. Rebound. Great job. And a... There's a fight for it. Unbelievable control by Everman. Serious traveling. Miller Shinawark in the lineup now for the Pirates. He'll come in for Webb. Webb a little disappointed at himself. Shinawark takes the ball to Colson. He'll go ahead and do it himself. Takes it to Kudo. Here comes Miller down the lane. Miller kicks the ball outside. It's Colston. Everman's playing great defensively My to start God, this game. They? 
going to get that foul called as Reyes tried to take it to the house himself, but he's fouled. And that's what the Pirates need to keep doing is attacking the basket. All three fouls, or they have three fouls now. See if he can get inside the bonus for these final few minutes to maybe get a rhythm offensively. Only two points in the first five minutes of the game. Not what we're used to seeing from Pirate basketball. Gennaro at the line shooting a couple here. Three fouls on both in this first quarter. First one down. Lady Park softball got another game tonight. Their um, regular season is already underway. Missed on that, rebound cleared by Everman. Down for the three, yes. Vasquez for three and it's 7-3 Everman here in the first quarter. 250 left, jumper. Got a piece of that one. Ball ripped away by Reyes. The feed to Colston. Push it up. Missing it out of there. Wow, what a move. Nothing. Tip. No. Rebound. Out it goes again. Another three up. No. Rebound. Everman. They'll take it right back. That'll be a foul. I think one of the things is I'm Coach Brazil and I'm, I'm talking to my team on the next dead ball is we got to match Everman's intensity. I think they're coming out more aggressive and a little more energy right now, getting those loose balls and, and getting to the rim. I agree. There go a 7-3 lead right here. Missing on the first one. The Murph into the lineup comes in for Kudo. And I think after uh, giving up two or three offensive rebounds on that possession, Coach Brazil's well, yep. he's putting in a lineup to get these rebounds now and bringing in Murphy over, what, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six right there. Got the second one. Down for Vasquez, he's got four. It's 8-3 now, Everman in the lead. Colson. Shinovark in the corner. Tried to go inside, that didn't work, but he got it back. Kicked the ball out to Reyes, and here is Treo. He'll take it underneath to Murph. Murph is gonna shoot. That's why they put him in there. And both teams now at four fouls will be shooting the bonus the remainder of the period. So if I'm Granberry, keep attacking the rim, take advantage of that, get, get Everman in foul trouble. Murphy Page, gonna as soon as, the, soon as basketball comes to a close, he'll be going to the baseball diamond. One of the members of a huge junior class for Pirate Baseball this year. Well, I know talking to Coach Epler, he's, he's excited about the team he has this year. A lot of depth and a lot of pitching. And you know, that's a recipe to a good season if you can stay healthy. What up, kid? Got to be excited about it. Drive in. No. Rebound kicked out. It'll come back to Webb. Webb going to be fouled from the backside. Webb's going to shoot a couple here. 140 left in the opening quarter. It's an 8 4 game. Everman in the lead. Dalen gets the first one down. Got his first point of the night. Pirates keeping it tight here. Three point game, 141 left in the first. Well, this is what, you know, this is what it was like, man. When we played them in Granbury, it was, it was tight all the way. Got them both. Eight, six. Rucker in the lineup. We got both the bigs in there for the Pirates. Ball's on the way. Pirates ball with a chance to tie right here. A 
Rucker in the lineup. Webb doubled up. Somehow able to get it out of there. Colston outside to Miller. No. Ball taken away. Miller again. No. Miller with the board. Up it again. No. Miller again. The dude's got some jumps, doesn't he? He does. I feel it's felt like there's been a lid on our rim for the last few possessions. No kidding. But it, good things will come if you keep driving to the rim and get those high percentage shots. They'll, they'll fall eventually. Well, it's nice to see we're starting to get some presence on the boards. I think the defensive intensity's picked up too uh, with the full court press right here. Double team in every possession. Outside the three put up, it is there. Matthew McBride makes it 11 to six. 55 seconds left in the opening quarter. Webb with it outside. Rucker lost it, momentarily got it back. Watch him bows, man. That, that's a quick uh, two-tech ejection if you make mm -hmm. contact. Ain't no doubt it. now. Webb driving in. Got him for a travel. I don't think I've seen this many traveling calls in a whole game. I uh, know, four or five already in this first quarter. Kudo back in the lineup now for the Pirates. 30 seconds left and it's 11-6 Edelman. Ball taken away as Rucker. Rucker working his way down. Watch out from the backside. Ball taken away. We're going to have what? Out of bounds on Everman. So baseline play for the Pirates. 13 seconds left. That look for the last possession of the quarter. I don't. You, you've uh, you've seen a lot of Pirate basketball this year. I don't think there's been many quarters we've been held to six no, points. No, no, uh, not once. And it might just be. Uh, First round playoff nerves, I mean, uh, it happens to a lot of teams, a lot of good teams. You know, Denton Ryan for the girls had the same issue the other week. Webb, yes! Webb makes it a two point game with five seconds left. Drive in, not enough. Great finish for the Pirates, Ryan. Carry that momentum over. Good stuff, 11-9. We played one here in the by district championship. I didn't realize this camera was shooting at us. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Up close and personal. <laughs> Well, from what I understand, Ryan, the our opponent, if we're if the Pirates are able to come out with a victory right here, I think Denton Ryan is playing. We might have another taste of Ryan. I think they're playing Burleson or something like that. Tonight. I believe so. Yeah. And then if you make it to the next round, you would potentially have a path with the rematch of Saginaw from the district, ah. where you know we we played Saginaw close all year long in those two games, all right. the tournament. So. Over 25, inside to Colston. He missed it. Nice drawn up play. Boy, I tell you, everyone's got some quicks down underneath, bringing it in. Outside is McBride. The spinner back outside. Gonna be Maroney. In the corner. Trejo getting out. Taken inside, Reyes with a pick. Reyes will try to take it base. 
Bounced out of close now off of Everman. Pirates ball just underway here in quarter number two. Everman 11, Granberry 9 in quarter number one. Judah with a J. Nuts right there. Boy, we are cold shooting in that first part of this game, Ryan. We're getting great looks, running, moving the ball, getting an open look. They're just not falling. It's just don't get discouraged. Keep attacking the rim. They'll come. And that shot just missed by Kudo. I've watched him for several years. He doesn't normally miss that shot. 13-9, Everman. Webb. Webb kicks the ball to Kudo. Now it's Isaiah inside. Try to get it. You got to get Kudo cooking. I mean, yeah. No good there. Another rebound pulled down. Foul on the reach. You know, I think we've got, it seemed like to me that we've got, we've got one guy calling, calling all the, uh, blowing all the whistles. Yeah, luckily though, uh, UIL rules, the fouls reset every quarter. So now yep. we're, that's only the first one of this quarter opposed to that would have been our sixth. How to carry it over like it used to. As it, has its advantages, has it has its disadvantages. Ever met it by four here, 13-9. In the corner, McBride. Addition outside, it's Moore in the corner. Spinner in, shot put up, no good. Rebound, McBride cleans it. Dishes the ball out now to Vasquez. Vasquez driving in on Webb. Shot put up, no good. Big board that time by Trejo. Look out now. Whoa, call the jumper. Yeah, that's one that could have gone three different ways. It could have been a foul on Everman, could have been a foul on Grimbury for swinging the elbows, and we got the uh, Option C of a jump ball, but <laughs> that wasn't know, on the table. I know you 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 want to take care of the basketball, but we got to be careful in how we're swinging those elbows because uh, if you make contact, we could lose. I mean, that these are our, our start our starters out here right now, and you'd be down a player the rest of the game. Moore with it outside, kicks it in the corner, jumper put up, no. Rebound pulled down by Webb. It does feel like the intensity is picking up a little bit, though, between both teams. Oh, it sure is. Pretty aggressive. Take it into the corner. They're going to Thomason. Shot put up. There's Kudo again, and he misses. Yuke, if we made these layups, I bet we're up by 10 by now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Timeout taken by Everman. Hey, we got some, uh, if you're a baseball fan, and Team of the barbecue. I team. love it. I love it. That's fantastic. 515 left here in the second quarter. Very, very low scoring game. Ready Cleburne, but it's a this is a great turnout. Everman with the ball. Again, pirates continue on that press. Balls battered away, but controlled outside. Wow. McBride with a chance for a four. Page on the foul. And if, I, if I'm Coach Brazil, you're, you're struggling offensively a little bit. 
you might have to have a conversation with Colson and say, hey, we're going to need you yep. for every minute of this game until we can get going because you got to have your best offensive player Certainly out there. Certainly does. Had to be popped 29 the other night. He's yet to score. A four-point play for Matthew McBride. He's got seven, and they lead 17-9. Here comes Colston. In the corner to Thomason. No. In and out. Rebound. Page. Murphy trying to get back up. It's going to go out of bounds off of Everman. Good job by the big fella. Pirates are going to take a timeout now. Colston on the inbound. Working to get in, uh, take the ball way outside. Thomason in the lineup for the Granberry. Kicks the ball back over to Page. Murphy trying to work his way in. Murphy. Trying to get it in strong, took a little too strong. Three fouls on the Pirates already here. And that'll be Kudo coming back in. Shinowark also in for Treo. You know, Brazil trying to find a combination here that can get this offense cranked up. Yeah, he's, he's moving parts around, getting uh, younger guys, older guys, big men, guards. He'll find a combination that works, but I don't think the, the Pirates are used to this uh, struggle offensively. Jump back on that. Webb pulls down the board. He'll get it out of there. Webb in the corner to Kudo. Kudo, Colston. We'll have to bring it back out. No one to chunk to. He'll drive it with it cross court. It goes. It's Webb. Miller again outside. No off the front iron. Here comes Everman again. It is Moore. More the dish inside paint. Good. Wow. A 19 9 10 point lead for Everman. Right, right now. Got 350 left here in second quarter. Pirates trailing 19-9. Ball whipped inside. It goes to Kudo. Great move. That'll work. Kudo with four. 19-11 now. Pirates need to make a little bit of a run this latter part of the second quarter. Here comes Everman down. Shot up. No good. Rebound. Back it goes. Shot put up. No good, Kudo, another jumper. Possession arrow, G-Town. And quite a few jump balls too, I think. No kidding. Luckily this one went in our, in our possession. But I wanna see the Pirates repeat what they did on that last possession. Get the ball down on the block, 
pump fake and get an open look. Reyes with the ball, whips it underneath it, goes to Kudo. Kudo up again. Yes, again. Feed number 23. He's got four straight. Underneath the shot, they'll take it inside the paint. Fight for the ball. Just incredibly aggressive for Everton. All the way, are you serious? Moore. Right down the lane, puts it down 21-13. 240, Colston. Webb will try to take it in himself. No, rebound. Colston couldn't grab it. Everman again. Moore. Wow. Back to a 10 point lead, 23 13. Tried to pass it out, got picked it again. Everman too much and too quick. Moore again. This time it's Maroney for the three. Colston with the board. He'll bring it on out. You know, I really do. It, there's one, there's one official making every call. Uh, are you noticing that? <laughs> it's not just me. Yeah, but it's uh <laughs> It's been that way, but we're also beating ourselves on a lot we of are, things that we are missing a lot of open layups. And Everman brings it in. 146 left here in quarter number two. Everman 23 to 13. 13 for the Pirates in the first half. Unheard of. Booth, spinner, down. Wow. 25-13, 125 left. Reyes. Reyes outside to Trejo. Kudo way out. Reyes again. Rucker in the corner. Cross court pass, it goes, it's Kudo. He'll try to drive it. Man, it's just deep. KT underneath. Oh my gosh. No foul and out on Colston. I guess he's saying he just lost the ball in the air, but one minute to go in this half, Pirates Mercy. get a stop, try to get it to single digits and build some momentum going into the second half. Shot up. Wow. McLaughlin, 27-13. 44 seconds. Good grief. Kudo, he'll baseline it. Kick the ball back outside to Rucker. He'll fake, go for the J. In and out. Wow. How many of those have we had? Halfway down oh and out. Oh my gosh. You can't buy a bucket here in this one. Booth again. No. Rebound, pull down. Reyes, Reyes to Kudo. Back over to Reyes it goes. Eight seconds. Colston trying to get someone set up for him. We'll go to Reyes. He'll pull for the jumper. Nothing. Mercy. 27-13 Everman at the half. Third quarter coming up.
And here we go, folks. As promised, second half action. Granberry comes out as the aggressor. That's what it's going to have to be. Absolutely, and it starts on the defensive end of the floor. They come out immediately, trap the ball in the inbounds pass, get a turnover. But now if you get those stops, you have to turn it into points. Reyes will bring it down. Colston outside to Webb. Webb in the corner to KT. You got to get him. You got to get him going, and they did. Bitch is all uh, psyched up. Got it going, trying to keep everybody pumped up. 27 to 16. Colson out front. Oh my goodness. Oh, he missed it. That's what the Pirates did in the first half was miss. It's Colston. He'll go again. Miss it. Shoot our board. Red. Boom. That's the confidence okay. we needed to come out with. That is it. Just what the doctor ordered, baby. Pirates with six straight. Pirates have cut this to an eight-point game. Webb picking up Moore. Moore almost lost the handle, able to get the ball pushed out. Cross court, they'll try theirs. No, rebound is Webb. Kicks the ball on down to Colston. KG, outside it goes, it's Reyes. Webb now. Webb, Gennaro sits it back outside for the Pirates. Looks right, Trejo, inside Kudo. Kudo trapped in, dishes it out. Webb again, just a little off. The fight for the ball. It'll be off of Everman. Great play by Reyes. And that's the kind of hustle you're gonna have to be to get back in this game, is fight for every loose ball. That's what we saw Everman do the entire first half, Ryan. Colston. Said the ball was tipped, but apparently not. Opportunity right there for the Pirates. Everman will have the ball. Booth with the ball picked up by Trejo. Trying to double them underneath. That was too easy. Washington makes it 29-19. Webb again, KT, not quite. Oh, now if I'm the Pirates, your first two threes will start the half went in, the last two have not. So try to get back going offensively and work the ball down closer to the basket to get that momentum back. Absolutely, they'll take it long. All the way down it goes, the shot is up, it's no good. Kudo had one. Who's it gonna be off of? I think off the Pirates, Everman ball underneath. Inbounds for the dogs, little Booth outside. Booth working his way, he'll have to kick it out. McBride, back it goes to Booth. There's Colston, good play that time.
trying to get him a quick pick. And check that, Brian, we played two and a half minutes. No fouls have been called in this third quarter. Yeah, both, both teams have been in transition, getting open looks that uh, haven't really been contested to try to draw those fouls. A totally different tale of what happened in the first half. Booth in the backcourt, picked up by Reyes. Booth puts it down. Booth with six. 12-point lead for Everman. Colston, no. And there you go. As you said, underneath, down. And the problem with missing deep three-pointers that bounce off the front of the rim, it's an easy transition opportunity for the other team. And that's what happened. We couldn't get back in time, results in a three-point play opportunity. Absolutely. That's what they've got coming up right here. Got us a mom, Everman mom sitting down here. She's digging it. They played well. I mean, uh, they have, man. They really have. 14 point lead. I think it's the largest lead of the game where it matches the halftime lead. What have we got here? Nuts. I think they're going to call. Wow. They're calling a foul on Granberry on the box out, but they're going to count the basket, which also means it's Everman's ball, so a chance at a oh my five gosh. six point possession right here. Good grief. Wow. That's tough. They'll take it inside. Shot up. No. Rebound. Inside. Yeah. Put the shoulder down and KT took it for the team. But the Pirates trail by 15 points right now. And that, that could have been a, a game-saving defensive play by Colts right there because if they make a basket, that's a five or six-point possession to where next thing you know it's pushing 20 points. Exactly. We're here now, keep it at 15, get a bucket, and get back to uh, the momentum we had to start this quarter. Pirates got a score on this possession. Trail outside, it goes to Colston. Colston in the corner. Trey hoping the three. No. Rebound, Kudo. Kudo with a dish to Reyes. No. Kudo with a rebound. Shot up. No. Booth. Wow. McBride with 11. Would we have five shots down here and couldn't finish it? 17 point lead, Dudo, somebody help me. This Everman defense, Ryan, is just intense. Webb makes it 36. Well, I think that's what he's doing in the, in the pool. Certainly is. Ball taken out by Everman in a hurry. 36 to 22. 
Schindelwark in the lineup now for Granberry. Booth out top, going to slow things down a little bit. Start to move and kick the ball back outside. It'll come to Maroney, that back down to Booth. Oh my goodness. Booth with eight, 16 points, 38-22. Colston. Try again. Yes! Okay, Webb's hot, give it to him. 13 point lead. Webb up to 13 points. 254 left here in the third quarter. By district action. Granberry and Everman. Everman content to. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Well, a great stat from a statistician and video extraordinaire, Adam O'Hanlon. We're getting out scored 24 to six in the paint. In the, gosh. But, but the, stat, the stat is deceiving too is, I think it would be a 24-24 tie in the paint if we would make the layups. Yeah. I think we've missed 18 points worth of layups. Absolutely. McLaughlin gets it 39-25 now. Trey Hill comes back into the lineup. Also, Rucker in the lineup for the Pirates. 2.38 left here in this third quarter. No there. And they control the rebound. Mercy. Shot up, no good. Rebound. Everman controls, lost the handle, got it back. Whistle blown, timeout. Bulldogs. You know, that's another thing, Ryan. I don't know in the 39 points. I don't think Everman has a three. and score offensively, just we need to get start putting it all together. Yes, we do. play for that to be the first one they call a foul on. It looked like there were three or four opportunities on that possession. Wow. Fabre 
Diaz and Pito back in the lineup now for Hernandez. Colston will inbound here. 114 left in the third. Pirates down by 14. Colston. Way outside he goes to Reyes. Reyes Colston now. Half court. Colston spinning his way. He'll speed it up. It does not go. Not his own board though. Not a good pass out. Return to boot. No. Rebound. Put back good. Hey, I said it wrong. Still highest ball with 40 marks on the slack in the third. Ghosting. Webb able to pick up the long distance pass. Kudo. This off to Webb. Why not? Oh my God. He feeds him. He's the only, I think, he, only outside shots that have gone in. And he's 18 for Webb. Great job that time by Trejo. Reyes. <laughs> he called for the travel. Lost his footing. That would have been huge, too, because it could have cut it down to 10 going into the fourth quarter. But man, where would we be without the performance of Webb tonight? 18 points. Wow. Dalen Webb, like I say, putting on a show for the Pirates. The next closest is Dylan Kudo with six points. Thomason in the lineup now. 18 seconds left. Also, the Murph is in the house. Rucker back in the lineup. He's got his defensive lineup here with 18 seconds left, trying to keep this at 13. Moore, Booth outside with a double, long pass, picked off by Everman, down to three. <laughs> Sometimes it's just not your night. <laughs> Rucker outside, gonna go to Colston. Up on a high post, gonna go to Trejo. Colston will try, yes. That's the start you need. But now let's see if it can pick up defensively too. That's the big issue, that's been the big issue all night long. There's Great the job by Kudo on the stuff. This possession will be big for the remainder of the game for the Pirates. If we could get a bucket here, get the crowd behind you, get the momentum, get your confidence back, it could be a, could be a good fourth quarter. World of difference. Rucker, go to Colston again. Whoa. Not there. Mm -hmm. 
So that, I think they had a foul called on that. Am I? Yes, they did. Fouls called on that. I said a big opportunity. But should have a better percentage shot on that one, Ryan. That was way downtown. Yeah, when you're down by 13, you need to have make every possession count on the offensive end. They'll try a three here. That's not there. Kudo had it momentarily. Somehow Booth ends up with it. Kicks the ball inside the paint. Ball is tipped. Trejo comes away with it. Dishes off the web. 6.49 left in the game. 46-33. Going to Colston. Colston. Rucker. Rucker got it back. Colston again, no. Rebound, Trejo. Foul's gonna be called on Everman. That's only their first, only one on Granberry. 6.28 left in the game. Brazil going back to a starting five here. Six and a half to go, down 13. I think you need to put your best five out there. Yeah, that's and, right. Uh, and roll. You rolled with them all year. You got it. You're going to go down with them too. Reyes dishes to Trejo. Trejo outside Kudo. Kudo trying to work his way in. Corner to Trejo. Nice spin move. Hammered. He'll shoot two. And that's what you need get Everman in foul trouble to where you can hopefully maybe foul some of the players out but also be in the bonus which when you're at the printer line that clock's not running absolutely so that, the clock is not in our favor right now no because especially on the offensive end of the ball Everman has gone into a little bit of a stall game wow Trejo not yet Trejo on the board, 12-point game. Ryan, there's plenty of time, six minutes. Absolutely, I mean, especially with a three-pointer, you're only a few possessions out of, the, out of this game. But you gotta get the stops on the defensive end. Everybody again, takes the ball out about midcourt. With Booth out there. Kicks the ball over Mahoney. Mahoney yep. doubled. No looker, good. Vasquez with eight, 14 point game. Webb, he'll shoot. That's gonna be three fouls on Everman. But you gotta make the free throws. On that's, the previous that's possession, it. we went one and two and then Everman scored on the other end. They went plus one on that. To that where sure did. You're, uh, can't afford it. Webb, 19. Make it 20. Dalen Webb, 20 points for the Pirates. Do the math, they got 36. Ball almost ripped away, Booth, no good. Kudo has the ball ripped out of there. Kudo to Webb, lost again by Everman. It's Booth. Good grief. We just, they dominated all night long when it comes to board, Ryan. It's just, it's Absolutely. amazing. I know Coach Brazil's over there pleading his case for a foul call, <laughs> but, uh, if you're Granberry, Everman's going to reach, so quit, don't try to dribble between the double team and the trap. Stand there, make them reach and foul you, because if you're trying to dribble to it, the official's not going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Absolutely. Booth hits the front end.
One more coming here. 5.09 left. Not that one, but they got the board again. Trejo takes it away. Block. Ball will stay with the Pirates. You pick a two right here. It's an 11 pointer. Kudo in the corner now. Bounce it inside to KT. He'll spin and try to take it up. Oh, nice play. Colston, 49-38, 11 point game. You know, Ryan, I know 11 point difference. You know, Ryan, you, you almost have you almost have to foul them when they get when they get going in close to that like that to the bucket because they've been so good all night long. Absolutely, if, and it, you got to foul and make them earn it at the free throw line. Don't give them two easy points. More missing on the front end. Either way, I, I, I say that's a win on this position for the Pirates. It, just if they miss this one, you got to get the board. That's it. Because <laughs> we've seen. We've seen that fail a couple of times tonight. Because what was it, a 24 to six on off, or in the paint at one point? Yes. I want to know what the offensive rebound differential is too. Got that second one to fall down for more. He's up to five. We can cut it to single digits here. 50 to 38, 438 left here in the game. Colston, Reyes outside. Reyes all the way across, has it tipped. And here comes Everman again. Reyes with the takeaway. It's Colston. That's a push off. They're calling the foul on Treo. Wow. That's crazy. Four fouls pretty quickly on the Pirates. Everman again at 416, taking the ball outside. They thought about a three, but I didn't think so. And that's now the fifth foul of the Pirates. Everman will be in the bonus remainder of the game. Trail thought he got a little, a little touch on the ball, but apparently not. It's like Mama Trejo not happy over there <laughs> on the other side. Moore at the line, he's got two. One. One more coming here. Yes. Back up 14, 52 to 38 now. Shinowark in the lineup. He'll come in for Reyes. Here comes Webb. Takudo. Colston now. Colston picked up. It's going to go to Trejo for a three. Not an even close. On down it goes, Everman. 
Waits, shot up, not there. Put back, yes. Mercy. Big difference tonight, Everman now has four, has three guys in double figures. Uh -huh. Wow, look at that, they're just so quick. Kudo in the paint, no, Kudo again, yes. Kudo now with eight, 54 to 40. And you really can't afford to foul senselessly here, Ryan. Yeah, you're already in the bonus. Everman's proved that they can make their free throws. But they're getting to the basket at will. Yeah. Because Granbury is afraid to foul in those situations. That's right. Knows it. Not there. Here comes Everman with the possession again. Good three. Wow. So fast. They'll shoot again. Well, we talked about just a second ago, Ryan. They had only scored three points. Well, that changed. That did, and uh, what's it, we had a chance to cut it to single digits, and now they're pushing close to a 20-point lead. Vasquez <laughs> yeah. hit the line. He'll shoot, too. Two minutes, 45 seconds left. You know, it was... We were at just about six minutes left in the game. And it was an 11-point game. Yep. With a chance to make it nine, eight yes, points. Yes, we did. But I think it's just been the, the tail of the game. We haven't been able to make the open looks. That has been a tough one. Rucker gets the board, and here comes Shinowark. Shinowark, he'll take it to Webb. No, that was... Wow. No contact on that? Apparently not. <laughs> 57 40. Taken Take it away by Colston. He'll take it up, lay it down. KT up to 10 now. 57-42, a 15-point game. Way all, all the way over to Booth. Booth dribbles through, dishes out. Whistle blown, and they'll go back to the line with 2.03 left. Everman up by 15. Uh, Coach Brazil, you can read his lips from where he's telling him, if you're going to foul, foul number four on Everman. That's the one we want to put at the line. And number four is not at the line right now. It's more, more is at the line. But it's kind of hard to decide who you want to foul because there's so know. many guys that have, yeah. that have scored tonight. It's a balanced scoring attack for Everman. Certainly is. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six guys have scored, and three of them in double figures and one pretty close. Missed that one, it got the board, but a whistle blown. Lane violation. Lane violation, I kind of, yep. Thomason will inbound here for the Pirates. Kudo comes in for Shinawark. Thomason to Colston. Colston brings it down. Colston in the corner. It's Thomason. Not there. Rucker with the follow up. 58 44. Timeout. Everman. Totally different team, Ryan, than we saw.
I think if these teams played ten times, it, it might split five and five. But it just, this is one of those nights. That, yep, it's so far Everman's night tonight. Rucker going to foul. They're going to shoot. McLaughlin at the line. And you have to wonder, too, if uh, Coach Brazil re realizes if the game's not in reach, if he gives some of his underclassmen a chance to get that playoff experience going right. into next year, maybe give his seniors one last uh, ovation to the crowd. Because you're down, what, 15 with a minute and a half. If, you, if we don't put some, together some points here, you might consider it. Might see that, yeah. Tolson had the ball chipped away. And let's see if that's number five. Uh, Colston's lined up, that was number five, so Colston will be at the line. He'll be shooting two right here. Ah. 11 now for KT. One thirty-three, fifty-nine, forty-five. Missed on the second. Cross court pass, a little too tall and a little out. We need about seven more of those. <laughs> Inbounds and goes to Colson. A buck and a quarter left in this one. Another foul. I guess they stepped out of bounds. Wow. Somehow, they've been able to do it like that all night long. Wow. 61-45, 113. Webb, why not? Webb continues on his magic night. He's up to 22. Yeah. Well, with a minute seven left, down 14. Uh, doesn't look Playoff years. Shinawak will get in the boots. Was, was back in the 90s. Yep. And the 2000s. And that's, that's been a long time coming. Set it outside. Webb's going to foul. And they're going to shoot. But, you know, in Brazil's, in Brazil's tenure, I think we've had, what, four playoffs under his tenure. It, it, it was a way to long grass bell there. And we had some good quality players that just couldn't quite put it together. Ran but, into some uh, tough districts. We definitely oh, to play North Crowley in the Mansfield. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're playing for fourth place uh, before the season starts. Well, that was, the, that, that was a four-year span there, right? Well, we played with four Mansfield schools in our district. Yep, several of them are 
I mean, every other player you went against, all the star players on the team were going to a Big 12 or yeah. high school, man. I remember one year when we had North Crowley in our district, they had the number one player in the nation and went to OU was teammates with Blake Griffin and ended up yes. playing in the NBA. And I know. That's the kind of competition we used to go up against. 65-49. 45 seconds left here in, in this one. Left. Not quite there. Another one by Booth. Then that might do it unless we uh, foul and put him at the line. Well, I think that's going to about do it. <laughs> Well, you, yeah, it's been a good season. It's been a, it's been a fun season. Frogs finishing third. We're going to hold it. That's going to do it. Everton 65, Granbury 49. Man, man, I'll tell you what, what I've had fun doing is doing the games with you, Ryan. Girls play off, boys play off. This takes me back into the end, man. It's, it's beautiful times. I hate the Pirates lost tonight, but. Gotta keep this thing going. If we don't have any rest, we got big.